And finally, new rule, as long as we're going to go to the trouble of another impeachment trial, we might as well be honest about what it's really about. <clears throat> the events of January 6th were a faith-based initiative, and Trumpism is a Christian nationalist movement that believes Trump was literally sent from heaven to save them. It's right there in Senator Tommy Tuberville's campaign ad. God sent us Donald Trump because God knew we were in trouble. There's a lot of talk now in liberal quarters about how Republicans should tell their base who still believe the election was rigged that they need to grow up and move on and stop asking the rest of us to respect their mass delusion. And, of course, it is a mass delusion. But the inconvenient truth here is that if you accord religious faith the kind of exalted respect we do here in America, you've already lost the argument that mass delusion is bad. <laughs> it's fun to laugh at QAnon with the baby-eating lizard people and the pedophile pizza parlors, but have you ever read the book of Revelations? Yeah, that's... That's, uh, that's the Bible. That's your holy book, Christians. And they've got seven-headed dragons and locusts that have the face of men and the teeth of lions and other stuff you only see after the guy in the park sells you bad mushrooms. <laughs> Last week, the big story was Marjorie Taylor Greene believing in Jewish space lasers, which answered the question, will there be comedy after Trump? But the book of Revelations will tell you exactly where the world ends. Megiddo, Israel, I've been there. <laughs> yeah, that's where all of the armies of the world will gather and Jesus will come down on a flying horse shooting swords out of his mouth. Jesus, not the horse. <laughs> and have a thousand-year cosmic boss battle with Satan, the Beast, and the Antichrist. It's like ten Avenger movies plus ten Hobbit movies times a night out with Johnny Depp. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Jesus wins. <clears throat> After which he will rapture up all the good souls plus 144,000 Jews who were grandfathered in <laughs> by Oscar Schindler. <laughs> but space lasers from Jews? <laughs> Please, magical religious thinking is a virus and QAnon is just its current mutation. That's why megachurches play QAnon videos. It's the same basic plot. Q is a prophet, Trump is the Messiah, there's an apocalyptic event looming, the storm. There's a titanic struggle of good versus evil, and if you want good to win, just keep those checks coming in. We need to stop pretending there's no way we'll ever understand why the Trump mob believes in him. It's because they're religious. They've already made space in their heads for shit that doesn't make sense. When you're a QAnon fanatic, you're also a fundamentalist Christian. They just go together like macaroni and cheese or Chardonnay and Valium. Just me? Okay. <laughs> that insurrection looked like a revival meeting with people praying around wooden crosses, waving the Christian flag and Jesus save signs, yelling, Jesus is my savior, Trump is my president. A Jesus 2020 banner hung near the gallows that was erected for Mike Pence because I guess he's Judas in this version of the story, which makes this guy punch his pilot? It's not a coincidence that every senator who objected to certifying the electoral vote in Arizona is an evangelical Christian. When Ted Cruz defended his vote to overturn a legitimate election, he said, recent polling shows that 39% of Americans believe the election that just occurred was rigged. You may not agree with that assessment, but it is nevertheless a reality for nearly half the country. In other words, we have no proof the election was stolen. And you may have verifiable evidence that it wasn't, but that doesn't matter. It only matters that we believe it. And that's when you're at religion. That you, ha <laughs> that you have to respect something just because people believe it. Does that include professional wrestling? 
The founding fathers were pretty adamant about building a nation based on reason instead of faith. Thomas Paine wrote a whole book about it, The Age of Reason, and it was a big hit. It was the white fragility of 1794. <laughs> so respectfully, I direct you to your own T-shirt. Fuck your feelings.